back for part two of oral health routine. And I'm actually going to make this a three part series because I wanted to do part one on the morning routine that I recommend, part two on evening routine, and then part three, I'm going to talk about things that you can do all throughout the day, whether you have access to a bathroom and availability to brush your teeth or use a water pick, or even if you don't. So stay tuned for that. But for evening routine, I recommend use of, I like the Himalaya Botanique um, toothpaste, and I use this one because the Boca Element does have green tea extract in it, I believe is how they state the ingredient. I am very sensitive to caffeine, and I don't know that that would impact my sleep or not, but I don't want to find out. So I like to rotate this one in, and this one is less expensive too, so it helps. What I will do is put a little bit of that toothpaste on my toothbrush, and then I dip it in the tooth powder. And this tooth powder is equal parts baking soda and xylitol, as well as bentonite clay. So the baking soda, again, serves as that natural whitener, and it can help to um, ba better balance out like the acid pH balance in your mouth. The xylitol is going to help to uh, kill that bacteria that's in your mouth, because what we want to keep in mind, too, is that Anytime we eat, that's when the bacteria in our mouth is able to eat. They eat carbs, and that carb could come from even non-starchy vegetables that have residual amounts of carbohydrates. So if any of that food is left in your mouth between meals, you're feeding that bacteria. Also, if you're eating very frequently throughout the day, you're more prone to having this bacterial imbalance or more of the bacteria because it's coming out to party many times throughout the day. So we wanna be very mindful of that. And xylitol is nice because although it is a sugar, once the bacteria eats it, it can break that cell membrane and kill the bacteria. So very beneficial. And then I add the bentonite clay in there kind of for more of that like detoxification and removal of impurities. I do make the same tooth powder for Connor. I just take the bentonite clay out. So it's equal parts of xylitol and baking soda. You don't wanna swallow bentonite clay and he certainly loves to suck on his toothpaste and swallow a lot of it. So I just remove it for there. So great for kids as well especially great for kids if they're eating a lot of carbs or processed foods because that xylitol is very beneficial. And then I will brush for, you know, at least two minutes. And then I follow it up with my floss. And I like to use the charcoal floss. We have one that's in a, gla a little glass container, just less waste. Um, it works really well. I will link this one. Um, we've tried a couple different ones, but this is the one that I tend to prefer. And then after that, I will sometimes use my water pick again just to make sure I'm getting everything out. Sometimes I'll do a coconut oil swoosh, just kind of depending on how my mouth is feeling or if I used the sauna or had a hard workout and I want to further support those detoxification pathways. I'll do that coconut oil swoosh followed up with a water rinse and then I do the copper tongue scraper and that's the same as in the morning. I'll do 10 scrapes. Again, I start right to left and I'll do five scrapes, rinse off, do another five. And then I put my retainers in and you want to store your retainers ideally in water or some kind of um, liquid solution. I prefer just water so that I'm not getting other like chemicals and things on there. And that is going to make sure that they're staying moisturized and not getting that bacterial overgrowth and drying out and potentially breaking. And then also um, when I take them out in the morning, I will use a little bit of an unscented like free and clear dish soap to clean them off. And then once a week, I clean all of our retainers, both Ryan and I wear retainers still, uh, super sexy. And I will put them in an equal part water to vinegar ratio and then add like two tablespoons of baking soda and let it sit for 15 minutes. Try to do it once a week, sometimes it goes longer, but the ideal is to kind of have that cleaning, um, that regular cleaning schedule. So that's the evening routine. Brush your teeth, um, get the the tooth powder in there or the Himalaya uh, Botanique toothpaste, and then I will do the, the floss, the copper tone scraper, sometimes the coconut oil swoosh, and then put my retainers in. So hopefully you will at least take a few pieces of information from that and find it realistic to incorporate into your routine for some healthy, happy mouths. Enjoy the rest of your day.